Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here today. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. I wanted to start this little series or whatever in my kitchen. So I want to call it maybe like Vita's Kitchen or Cook With Me or something like that. I want to make cooking or baking videos once in a while and yeah. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys a chocolate chip cookie recipe and you guys, when I say these are the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had, these are literally the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. Like, they are so good. They are super, like, fluffy. Not even fluffy. They're, like, soft and moist. And when you bite into it, it's just, like, heaven. So I wanted to share it with all of you guys. I, by no means, make this recipe. I actually saw someone posting this recipe on Instagram and I decided to give it a shot. I was looking for a recipe that I would really like, so I wanted to give it a shot. And you guys, I'm so glad I did because these cookies are literally the best. They're so good. So I'm going to take my little recipe book here. And I will tell you guys all the ingredients you're gonna need. I'll have them up on the screen, but you will need 12 tablespoons of butter, 3 4th cup of brown sugar, 1 half cup of white sugar, 1 egg, 3 4th teaspoon of vanilla, 2 cups of flour, 3 4th teaspoon of baking soda, 2 cups of chocolate chips, and 3 4th teaspoons of salt. The amount of ingredients are like so specific and I think that's why these cookies are so good because they're just like to the dot specific. Like for example, 3 4th teaspoon of vanilla. But anyways, we're gonna get started. So I have my stand mixer over here and I'm going to be putting the butter and the sugar and I'm gonna mix it all together. I already have softened butter. I left it out for a little bit. So it is already softened. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And I need 12 tablespoons. So I'm gonna cut off some of it. It's pretty much one stick and a half to be exact, I guess. So I'm going to put the butter in here. There we go. I'm gonna take some sugar and I'm going to put half a cup of white sugar. So take half, half a cup of white sugar. So I have about three fourth cup of brown sugar in here. So I'm gonna put that in there. Now I'm going to cream this for about two to three minutes it says okay guys it looks really really good oops that's how it looks right now so now i am going to add one egg also i'm putting the egg in a separate little measuring cup just to make sure i'm not adding any eggshells looks good so i'm gonna add the egg now i'm going to add the vanilla so i have the teaspoon here and i am adding the vanilla in here now i'm going to beat this for another one minute i'm gonna take a spatula and i'm going to just Make sure that everything is getting mixed very good. Sometimes it tends to not mix on the outside, so. Now in a separate little bowl, I am going to add all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna add the flour, salt, and the baking soda in here. So I'm gonna take the flour. I'm gonna need two cups of flour. So. I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting this super even. 
I know I'm so extra. But I'm gonna do that. Now I'm going to take three fourths teaspoon of salt. So not a full teaspoon. Put some salt and also three fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Literally, this recipe is so extra. <laughs> but you guys, it's so worth it. It's so good. Now I'm going to mix this up over here. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna add it in very slowly. Okay, you guys, it looks good. I'm gonna take this out, actually. The, the whisk. And I'm gonna take the spatula and kind of mix it with the, the spatula now. Okay, now I'm going to add chocolate chips. And this one, I don't actually do like the whole two cups. I just kind of eye it just to see how I like it, to be honest. Now I'm just going to mix this just until it's all mixed and looks good. You can also take this attachment and just attach this and have this mix it for you, which is probably a lot easier. That looks good, yep. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to take the cookie dough and I'm going to spread it all over with a ice cream scoop and put it on the baking sheet. And you guys, if you take anything from this recipe, it is this. It is after I put it on the baking sheet, I'm going to freeze the cookies for one hour. The recipe says like 30 minutes, but you guys do it for one hour. I really do feel like this step literally makes your cookies 10 times better. I just feel like if you don't freeze them when they go into the oven and they start baking, I feel like they get really flat and they're just like become really, really hard. So when you freeze them and when you put them in the oven, they don't really go flat because they're still kind of frozen. I don't I don't know the, the science or the chemistry to this all, but trust me, this does the biggest difference, so. I'm gonna put it on a baking sheet right now and I'm going to put it in the freezer after I'm done. Okay, you guys, I put them all on a baking sheet and I also don't really care about like where I put them. Like I'm not spreading them out cause I'm just putting them in the freezer for now. I'm not gonna bake them like this, obviously, but I'm just gonna put this in the freezer for one hour and then we're gonna bake them. Okay guys, so it has been way more than one hour. So I'm finally going to be baking the cookies. I actually have them over here and I am going to be putting them in the oven at 385 degrees for seven to nine minutes. And I'm not gonna keep them any longer than nine minutes. They might actually look a little bit um, gooey or like they're not done yet, but that's literally like, if you over bake them, that's when cookies become really hard and not so good. So don't bake them for more than nine minutes. And also, I put the rest of the cookies in this little container and I'm keeping them in the freezer. So whenever I want some cookies or whatever, I just have them in the freezer and I can just bake them whenever I want some. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and I will show you guys how they look when they're done. going to let these kind of cool off before eating them even though it's so hard not to eat them right away all right you guys i want you guys to see this goodness oh i just want to like 
break it so you guys can see. Oh, it looks so good. They're literally perfect every time. So good. They're so soft. And they're still warm. Mmm. All I need in this is with a little bit of milk. And I should be good. All right, you guys. These are the finished product. So, so good. Definitely give this a shot. If you do, definitely send me pictures on Instagram or whatever. I'd love to see you guys try this recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more types of these kinds of videos, like cooking and baking, definitely let me know in the comments. I love you all so much. Have an amazing, blessed day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.